Welcome everyone. Um, I got a lot of questions about how long my paintings take in real time. This one took me about an hour and 40 minutes and after I upload my previous video I got a request um, about sharing a bit more about my process. So that's what I'm going to do today. And as you see, I started with the background and I think the most important thing is that you don't let your, your paint dry. And so you just have to make sure you make enough mix of the color you're using. And I like to tilt a little bit my board to help me pull the water. And after that, in this painting, I was mostly just layering watercolor. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about uh, some of the things I do before I actually start painting and I, I wanted to share this with you because I actually find that uh, I have improved a lot since I started planning ahead <laughs> and the first thing I will say is make sure you really like your sketch um, have a look at the expression of your character and have a look at the hands and the feet and if there's any anything you want to change that's the time to change it you don't really want to do a beautiful painting and then realize that you don't like the hands so that's the first thing I, I check after that I do trace my sketch into my watercolor paper I rarely draw directly in my paper because I'm afraid I will ruin it or something so I do my sketches and once I'm happy I transfer them you can use your window if you want I used to have a light table but it broke so I often use my window <laughs> and you just have to be careful that when you're tracing um, just, just do it lightly and then have a look at your at your drawing and make sure it's as good as your sketch you know that it still looks natural um, with this illustration I did a smaller very quick version to try the colors and see if I was happy with them. The other thing I did is that I already tried different patterns for the wall because I was afraid that if I just tried it in the, in the actual illustration, if I didn't like it, I will have to start all over again, so. And the last thing that I like to do is just having a think about where I will like my darkest and my lightest shades to be. So these are the things that I like to do before I start a painting. Um, of course sometimes, you know, I just feel like adding other color and and I will do it. And that could be a, a nice a nice surprise. Sometimes you have to go with your instinct. Um, I hope you find this video useful and please let me know if there's something you're interested to know. I will try to post videos every two weeks um, and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel. <laughs>